The graph to the right shows the relationship between the height in centimeters of May's new plant and the number of days she's had it. Write an equation to match the graph and explain what each component of the equation tells you about May's new plant. Alright, so this is a, a line. Straight, we know it's linear. We can tell just by looking that this is a linear equation, or we should be able to. Which means my form should be y equals mx plus b. m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. The y-intercept we can find by looking just at the y-axis here. And I see 4 and 6 is quite it's right in between. So I know the y-intercept is going to be 5. Now, what about the slope? The slope is usually found, we can, I mean, we've got y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, or hopefully you can just kind of, when you've given a picture, can do rise over run. So to get from one point to the next, we go from 5 to 8, so that's a rise of 3. And we go from 0 to 4 on the run, so that's a run of 4. So the slope would be rise 3 over run 4, 3 over 4. Okay, so there's my equation. y equals 3 fourths x plus 5. Now it says write an equation to match the graph and explain what each component of the equation tells you. Now the variables are pretty simple. I know that x represents the number of days that the plant has grown. I know that y represents the height of the plant and that's in centimeters. Um, the, the 5, the y-intercept, represents the height that it started at. So I'll put initial height when May got the plant. When May got the plant. And the 3 fourths, that's how much it grows per day. Because it, linear, it's growing the same amount each day. So we could say that it's growing three-fourths of a centimeter every day. So I'm just going to put growth each day. And again, that's in centimeters. So the three-fourths is the amount growing each day. The five is the amount it started at when she first bought the plant, the height at least. And then we know that x is the number of days and y is the, the height total.